You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. All right, so what you just saw there is a taste of capoeira. It is an Afro-Brazilian martial art that combines the elements of fighting and dancing into a distinct art and sport of its own. And that's just one of the many rich traditions set to be on display at a celebration coming to Salt Lake City next week. So joining us to talk about the Afro art celebration, we have some folks performing in the festival. We have Mestre Jamaica, we have Abby Gotti and Eric Fungo. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for having us. us. Yeah. And and you were just playing a second ago. Yeah, yeah. So this is a this is called the beating ball. Uh -huh. It's an instrument from Africa, but us capoeiristas we adopted into capoeira, which is capoeira is a beautiful art form that was developed in Brazil by my ancestors. When they were forced to go to Brazil, they become slave. Then they created capoeira as a self-defense and disguise as a dance. So some people always ask us a question. What do you guys do? You right. guys dance or you guys fighting? <laughs> so for us capoeiristas, we like to say that we fight like a dancer and we dance like a fighter. Yeah. When I, I know you're an expert in, in this art form, uh, how did you get involved? When did this start for you? Yeah, I started when I was seven years old in Brazil. So wow. capoeira always been part of my life, you know, my, from the beginning all the way to today. And, yeah. and Eric, I understand that you're also a bit of a performer. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, um, I'm a <coughs> teaching and performing artist from Tanzania, East Africa. Actually, I graduated in our College of Performing Arts called Bagamoyo. And I've been teaching and performing all over the United States, at uh, Las Vegas, in New York, and now in Salt Lake City. And I feel blessed to have met, met uh, Mr. Jamaica because among my learning the African art, Afro-Brazilian is part of African culture, so I feel blessed to be and uh, him learning the Afro-Brazilian culture as well. And it's wonderful to see how much this has grown. So many people that are learning about it for the first time. Why do you think so many people are expressing interest in this? Well, capoeira is very contagion, you know, like the combination of the, the music, the dance, you know, and the best of all, the community, you know. It's something that we see nowadays in the world that the world really needs this community, you know, and capoeira mm -hmm. is the, a master for that. Yeah, yeah. That, that is absolutely yeah. wonderful. And so for a little bit of a change of pace here, Abby, tell me a little bit about your work with uh, Poetry 365. Um, so um, I'm the founder of 365 Poetry, and at 365 Poetry, we celebrate self-love through poetry, music, dance, and African food. Since dance is part of, is a component of what we do, right? Mm -hmm. It just makes absolute sense, right, to be working with um, Jamaica, and I've known Jamaica for a long time. I met him playing soccer. We've been friends ever since, and. I'm happy to be a part of what is doing next week. What what draws you to poetry? Um, so right, so poetry. I. It's hard to put into words, yes, isn't it? Yes, it, it is very hard yeah. to put into words. And ordinarily, I'm originally I'm not a poet. I'm a writer. Uh -huh. So I, you know, I was writing a book. I wanted to put the book out there, introduce the character. And then I invited every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Deborah, Stephanie, and Anne to my house. <laughs> and, um, you know, we just picked up from there. So now I think because of my voice, uh, people think I'm a poet. Mm -hmm. So I, now I assume the role. That's wonderful. Uh, before we go, let's talk a little bit more about the festival. Tell us a little bit on what's yeah, going on. Yeah, so it's happening uh, next Friday, the 23rd. And we are here to invite you to be part of it. You know, it's going to be at the Charlie Square Mall. Uh, at the Alliance Theater. And uh, to speak of it, I want to thank Youth Arts Alliance for uh, sponsoring us on, on that. And also uh, Salt Lake Art Concert. They are big sponsor for us on this as well. So yeah, so it's happening next week, the 23rd at Charlie Square Mall. And you can find all the information on our website, saltlakecapoeira.com or on our Facebook, uh, Facebook page or Instagram page which is Salt Lake Capoeira. Wonderful, and yeah. let's let's take a look at that graphic one more time so people can see the information before we go. That event is being held on Friday, June 23rd at 6 p.m. at the Alliance Theater at Trolley Square. Tickets for this family-friendly event are $10 online through Eventbrite or 
$20 at the door. This is the landing page to buy those tickets online if you're interested. Now, before we go, let's take one more look at some, more, some live capoeira.